So super, so super EQ. Uh, this is the S1. These are headphones, and this is the Q2 Pro. This is a brand from One Audio, and they make, I would say, decent enough products. And now we have these. These feel super light box. These are earbuds, also by Super EQ, a One Audio brand. Now these ones have hybrid active noise canceling. They come with a USB-C charging case, hybrid ANC Q2 earbuds, user manual, ear tip, small, medium, and large. This has Bluetooth 5.2, and it has 11 hours of play time with ANC off, and 8 hours with ANC on. Charge time is two hours, and the charging case extends play time up to 40 hours with ANC off, and then ANC on is 28 hours, which is really good for only 370. Touch controls, transparency mode, hybrid ANC. I'm assuming that's why transparency mode shows. And you get your case. Wow, these are. Uh, Beat Studio Buds, AirPods Pro. Wow. I'm actually super impressed by the size of this thing. It isn't much bigger than these uh, Beats, I mean than the AirPods, but they're also quite... Ooh! That is such a satisfying case. Oh my god, I actually like these a lot so far. I don't know how they sound, but at least like my first impressions of opening them up Holy crap. And they have touch controls. It clicks open once, and then another time, like, holy crap, that feels so good in the, over here. I'm so impressed just by um, the case. And then we have the ear tips, and we have the USB-C to cable, which I don't actually need either. The ear tips I'll take a look at after this. But just, wow. This is, I'm blown away by both these products here. It has three lights, links when it's charging. They feel a bit cheap in this case compared to like this finish, but this one won't scratch as easily. And it has a left and right indicator. Just, holy heck, this is such a beautiful earbud. I genuinely impressed by these. Like I'll actually enjoy this. So I'm gonna get both of these paired to my phone. I will test them both out. And we'll be back once I did my initial testing. So... Now that we got that unboxing out of the way, I want to talk about the design of the case and the earbuds. So, the earbuds are a standard shape. They are the standard earbud shape you find. And they stick a little bit out of the ear, which doesn't look too bad in my opinion. I think it looks good and the case is quite small. This case fits in my jeans pocket very, very well with extra room, so it's not big and it's not bulky. They are black, they have a matte-like finish, and they're easy to scratch. Taking these in and out of my jeans pocket, some I scratched a bit. You can actually see that in person, even just normally, not even with like a high-powered light or outside lighting. And then the case has three LEDs to show you when the case is battery life. So right now it's at two bars. And then it, when you close it and you put the earbuds in, it'll blink for a second and it will show that the earbuds started charging. Battery life on these things are amazing. You get 11 hours playback time with ANC off and eight hours with ANC on. The case extends the time by 40 hours without ANC and 28 with ANC and it takes about two hours for the earbuds to charge with the case to fully charge. Now, you probably just heard me say the words ANC. That is because the earbuds have ANC built into them. The ANC works, but I have one problem with it. When turned on, the earbuds actually produce a high pitched noise or a well, hissing noise. That is a problem for some and then not a problem for others, which is quite weird that I would get this hissing noise. So it's present also no matter what device or what sound is coming out of it. So if I'm playing a song or I'm playing a movie, you can actually hear it through some of this stuff. 
works extremely well, but having that hissing noise is a deal breaker for some. Like for some it's good, for some it's bad. And it's not noticeable in a lot of songs, but it's noticeable on some. And it's noticeable even on movies or TV shows or also YouTube videos. Like if I'm watching a YouTube video, movie or TV, I actually notice that hissing noise. The ANC blocks out all the noises you would get otherwise, so maybe the hissing noise is just like a deal, not a deal breaker, so like, whatever! You have hissing! It happens on some cheaper earbuds. Now, the phone calls on this are okay. Nothing out of the ordinary for earbuds, like not good, not bad, not anything. People can hear me just fine, and without them thinking that I sound bad. I've been told that I sound like I'm coming from speaker mode and also told that I'm sounding great, but it's not the worst thing ever and at least it sounds fine. At least it's not like some of these other ones where it's like, what the hell are you talking through? Like, what the hell is that sound? No, these ones actually give me a decent sound out of them. Like, people have said that they sound great. And it's something that actually I would be fine using for my audio calls. Now, getting onto audio quality, these things are great. For around 50 to 75 freedom dollars, these things are really good. Ambient noise, which with the microphone you can actually take turn uh, move turn down the volume of the of the song that you're listening to very very much, like all the other ambient noise buds, and you can actually hear people around you. And C and good call quality. Music wise, these are okay. They are better than most of the fifty to seventy than most fifty dollar earbuds, and they're on par with most seventy five dollar earbuds. But I have heard better. The bass, in my opinion, sounds sometimes a bit too much, and sometimes it also has a bit of a muddy bass sound. The mids are great, bringing out the instruments and the vocals real well, separating them the way they should be. The highs are where these things disappoint me. There's just one point in these highs where everything seems to fall off, and things seem to have a compressed sound. Listening to classical music, all the instruments get nicely separated, the highs of some of these instruments just seem to drop off when you lose a bit of the sound quality that you would otherwise get with some of the other earbuds out there. So like when I'm listening to some of the some of the things, like there's uh, some high triangle noises and like piccolo and other things that you get like at a high, higher up highs that you would call it, it just drops and sometimes you don't get those, but otherwise separation is actually really, really good. Listening to the classic rock, you're able to make out all the sounds that the song produces. You get great details out of the out of these types of songs where bass doesn't overpower the song at all. So bass can actually be a good thing on these headphones. I can make out the separation of the vocals and the instruments quite well. So some earbuds I've actually had have had vocals that have mixed together with the earbuds or with the, um, with the instruments and then some of the other ones, it separates it correctly. Now if we move on to some rap music, we get the bass that I would some would say too, would be too much, and others would say would be just right. And I don't think at all that the music is being overpowered by the bass. Although, as I mentioned earlier, the highs get dropped off a certain frequency, it still sounds amazing. The bass on like hip hop and stuff, so you want a little higher, some people say. And these ones, they actually sound great. I don't think they're overpowering. I don't think anything is wrong. Now, making my way over to some pop songs, I actually really like the sound signature of these buds for the songs that I played. It may sound like I'm repeating myself, but some genres may cause issues with some earbuds that other genres don't. And the bass doesn't overpower at all, although with pop, it does just sound a bit muddy or even compressed somehow. The mids are, are separated, all the vocals in some tracks, possibly due to the way that these tracks were mixed. It got mixed a tiny bit with the instruments. Not the end of the world, but it would have been nice to see them a bit more separated. Maybe it's just some of these songs, maybe some of these songs are just not separated enough. I don't know. All in all, these earbuds for the price of about 70 to 50 to 75 US dollars, freedom dollars, these things rock. Amazing and long battery life of 8 to 11 hours depending on ANC, on or off, and another 28 to 40, again, depending on ANC on and off with the case. Sound quality is nothing to be blown away by, but for the way it sounds, I can forgive the couple of faults I have with the sound, like the highs dropping off at a certain frequency of the bass, in some scenarios just being a bit muddy, but again, could also be just the way things are produced. And they, they sound great. 
All in all, these are some earbuds that I actually would recommend to some friends and family out there. So these aren't something that I'm that I'm just gonna say, oh hell, don't get these. Like I actually like the sound of these where I'd recommend it to friends and that takes a lot with some earbuds anymore. And if you'd like to buy these earbuds, I threw some links in the description down below to check them out. If you did like this video, definitely want and want more earbud and headphone content. I have some headphone content coming soon, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you did like this video, just hit the subscribe button anyway. Helps out the channel. Why not? And just as always, enjoy the rest of your day.